Hey up, chug it up, how we doing? And welcome back to another episode of Said Says. We are back today with another music video reaction for you guys in which we're going to be checking out a band who I absolutely love called Dust In Mind. Now, these guys dropped a brand new single a couple of days ago and I was like, you know what, it's about time that we featured them on the Said Says channel. I've been a big fan of this band for a couple of years now. I play their last album that was called From Ashes to Flames on a regular basis and I've been loving the new material that they've been dropping over the past couple of months. Now, for those who don't know the band Dust In Mind, they are signed to Dark Tunes Music Group that also is the home of bands such as Darks Cell, uh, Omnimar, The Silver Black, Auger, uh, Zordia, Falsy, just to name a few. And it's a really, really cool uh, label that promotes and champions some absolutely wicked, gothic, industrial and electronic metal bands. And that is probably the best way to describe Dust in Mind, actually. Their sound is very metal, but it takes elements from electronic music, from industrial music, from gothic music... And they just have this absolutely epic sound that I know you are going to love. I mean, this is a band that over the years have played with the likes of Arch Enemy, uh, Ginger, Soil Work, Pain, Infected Rain, just to name a few. So you know, just from the calibre of artists that they have played with, that you are in for an absolute treat today. So let's jump on in there and check this new song out. It's called Break. It premiered on January 22nd. And I've got a feeling that you're going to love this one. Without further ado, this is Dust in Mind with their brand new single, Break. Enjoy, guys. Yes. One of the things I love most about this band are the riffs. I mean, they are just fucking oh, heavy as fuck. It's not the heaviest riff you've ever heard, but there's just something about the tone and the attack of the playing that just sounds wicked through the headphones. They do that a lot as well with the dual vocals, both female and male. Um, and I think they've got really cool voices that really complement each other. Now, the vocalist, Jennifer, the female vocalist, she has, in my opinion, one hell of a unique vocal style. I don't think I could compare it to any other female singers on the alternative scene at the minute, to the point where whenever I listen to anything from Dust In Mind that I may have not heard before, I instantly know it's them just from her vocal style. I love that, like, sub-bass that keeps kicking every so often. expecting it to come in again then. Oh, there we go. I just love their sound so much. It's got like a real, like, um, once human, um, follow the cipher, that kind of vibe to it. Elements of the agonist as well, but obviously not as heavy as those guys. I just love that thud that keeps coming in every so often. I don't actually think listening to it more now that it's actually a, um, a sub bass drop, but it hits hard, man. Easy 
easily, easily one of the band's best songs to date, this. Do you know what? It sounds like a fucking keg being hit. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. That was French metal band Dust in Mind with their brand new single, Break. And if you enjoyed that, the next port of call I would recommend checking out is the single they dropped three months ago that was called No Way Out, which is equally as good. And from there, go back and check out that album that I mentioned before, From Ashes to Flames, because there are some wicked, wicked, wicked singles from that album. I mean, the track itself, From Ashes to Flames, um, this is the end was another really really good one from that album a new world just to be honest every single track on that album is sublime and once you've gone and checked that out i'm just giving you like a, an a to z tour of dust in mind once you've checked out that album go and check out a, uh, a live performance they did about a year ago um, that was called Live at the Opera. I don't know if it ever got like a, a physical release, but I know it is up on YouTube for you guys to watch. It's about 45 minutes long, um, and it is just incredible. Everything from the, the setup, the imagery used in there, the actual setting of the, um, of the live footage itself is incredible. They're one of those bands that I really, really, really want to go and see live. In fact, I'd love to bring them over to the UK. I'd love to put them on a UK tour with Spectre Records. I think they go down so well over here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, once COVID has buggled up, buggered, buggled, 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 buggered, buggered off, we might be able to bring Dusted Mind over to the UK. Keeping my fingers crossed for that one. If you did enjoy the guys in Dust in Mind, I will link all of their social media down below so you can check them out for yourselves. And if you did enjoy this episode of Said Says, please go and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything Said Says related. We will be back tomorrow with more music video reactions for you guys. But in the meantime, have a good evening, stay safe, and keep on chugging. <laughs>